Please meet Shanice. She says she's a military wife, and today she's ready to battle her husband's mistress. Shanice, what's going on? Well, what? me and my husband, we've only been married for a couple months. We have oh. a beautiful little girl. She's yeah. about nine months old. Yes. You know, them two, they There's have a, a nice. beautiful, yeah. beautiful bond. Yes. But when it comes to me and him, we're terrible. It's, it's not on the appropriate track for a marriage. But yeah. since well, we've now, been married. Now, what are the married, problems now? Well, about a week ago, yeah. I received a phone call from my aunt. Yes. And as soon as she gets on the phone, I'm tired of being lied to. He's lying to both of us. About we've been, what? Yeah. They've been sleeping together. They have been sleeping together. Was it a one-time thing? Well, or? apparently they've been sleeping together for the last three months, and well, we've only you, been married for four. Well, then when you, number one, why are you still with him? Or two, what did he say about it when I, you confronted him? I got the phone call a week ago, yeah. and um, we were going back and forth on the phone. After we got off the phone, I attempted to confront my husband about it. Yes. He was irate, standoffish. He swears up and down it never happened. I tried to, you know, okay, I'll go find my aunt, confront her. Yeah. She calls me to tell me she's tired, but she's been avoiding me since the whole week since, avoiding me. You brought the problem to my door. Yeah. She's been avoiding me. Okay, but your husband says it never happened. He says it never happened, but I feel like at the end of the day, I deserve the truth. Well, sure, sure. Are you inclined without yet knowing, and I don't know either, Honestly, I feel like it's been happening because at the time when she gave me that phone call, I had already had a feeling that some things had been going on because he'll tell me he's going to the store and he'll be gone for five hours and my town is all of five minutes long. You can get through my whole town in five minutes. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of had already had suspicions Traffic and I had been jam, asking him something. about it, yeah. but, no. but no. Okay, so who's Torres? Torres is your husband? My husband. Well, let's find out what the story is. Here's Torres. <laughs> Hey, Torres. How you doing? All right. I feel like I deserve the truth. That's my aunt. You're my husband. It's been hard enough on us as it is. My family doesn't like you. We've been going through too many ups and downs just trying to move into a new place, new marriage, new baby. I don't care what happened as far as the details, but I deserve the truth. You want the truth? I want, want the, the truth? truth. Yeah, yeah, I slept with her. I did. <laughs> You slept with her, right? I slept with her. I did. But you know what? You know what? I deserve to be happy at one point. At one point. Do you know what you put me through? Huh? You don't know? What? Look, your aunt is there. Your aunt is there when I need her. When I need help with the baby, she's there. When I need anything, she drops everything she has to come take care of me. Is it my fault that She's my taking aunt... your place. Ooh. Taking my place? How are you gonna let somebody else take my place and I'm supposed to be your wife? We said for better or for worse. So that means when I am not in the best position and I'm at my worst, I'm your wife. You're still supposed to have my back. You just married her, right? A few months ago? Yeah, yeah, Well, I did. How did things turn south so quickly? For one, I do everything. As a husband and a wife, I'm Mr. Mom, 24-7. Is that I, true? He takes no. care of the child? No. In his head. No. In his head. No. She'll, she'll his go to, uh, take care of the baby and, you know, doctor's appointment, whatever. Or uh, she'll go uh, chill with her friends or something like that. Yeah. But when she's out on the weekends, I'm in the house with the baby. Uh, when her friends are Where coming over. Where do you go over, on the weekends? Every now and then on the weekends, I might go to the club or to a bar to get out of the house. Our baby is nine months old. The first, I, I, the first four months, it was pretty much me and her by myself. I didn't complain. I didn't call him and say, I can't take it. I didn't give up on my kid. I and didn't give didn't, up on him. And you didn't sleep with his uncle. Exactly. <laughs> All right, who's T? Oh, T is your aunt, aunt, as you say. Here's your aunt.
Okay. You're her aunt, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. They just got married. They have a child. I'm going to assume that there's problems in their marriage, okay? Yeah, yeah. Let's assume that there are. Three months into a marriage, wouldn't you just say, wait a second, I don't need to be getting in the middle of that. I don't need to be making it worse than it is. I don't need to be sleeping with your niece's husband. She did it. She made it like this. She pushed them on me. How? You How? don't let him be a man. You sit here and tell me I pushed my husband on you. You don't we let him be my man. We just got married. There's not no excuse. You're my aunt. I confide in you. I have your back over anything. Every time. Every time. I come to your house. I'll cook for you. I'll clean your car. I'll watch your kid. She's the one to push him out on me every time. She's the one to leave him home, and I just happen to come over. He confided in me. He tells me, okay, this is what's going on. I know all your dirt, honey. At the end of it all, you're not just hurting me. You got a beautiful little niece that loves you. You got a beautiful little girl that loves you. What y'all gonna tell her? Huh? What are you gonna tell my baby when she's wondering why her dad is laying up with her auntie? What you gonna say? Fill me in. No, no, no remarks? Nothing? Closed mouths? Yeah. I thought so. I thought Do so. You Another name here. Who is Shonda? Who's Shonda? My girlfriend. My ex. My ex. Shonda is your ex-girlfriend. Here is Shonda. You are infected. I knew it. That's my husband. You don't even take care of your kids! Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Never hit a person with your wig. Okay, so you two used to be an item. Did you? We used to. Eight years, Jerry. Eight years. I have been with this girl. All and now this. When did the. Oh. 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 First of all, why are you angry at her? She had nothing. She don't know me, Jerry. Oh, oh okay. Here, drink this one. Don't throw it. Drink it. <laughs> oh! Oh! You. Do you, first of all, do you want to be with him, or was that just... Yeah, she want to be with Pee Wee and Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> Jerry. Yes. The man deserved love. No, I don't want to be with him. You he don't got want... too much with him. Yeah. He's okay. got too much with him. So, and you're saying you don't want to be with her? I don't. Okay. So, 
that doesn't excuse what he did, but at least one of your problems you can check off the list. It's not like this is going to be a continuing situation. They don't want to be with each other. So what's going to happen here? Obviously, what woman isn't going to be upset three months into the marriage just having a child when the husband goes off and sleeps with her aunt? She's obviously going to be upset. She has reason to be. How are you going to convince her, if you want to be in this marriage, that you want to stay? Well, and Jerry, for one, and she needs, for one, all I, all I ask is for respect, for you to trust me. For you to trust me. If we can solve our problems like we should have did in the past, none of this would have happened, period. At all. The problem is that the past is going to always affect the future. You want trust in you sleeping with bitches. Let me tell you something. I got friends, I got friends back home. Hey, hey, look, man, your wife is doing too much. She, she's owning you. She's, ru she's running your life. She's running your life. When she say do this, it's done. When, when she needs anything to be done, I do it. On the, on the flip side, never. Never. So what happened when you, I said I didn't need you to be sleeping with bitches? You did it. Right? Right? Three months? Really? Three months? Yeah. But listen. Three, no, no. I got cut open to have your baby. I left my family to come and be with you. You know everything that I've been through. Everything. You know how broken I was when you met me over my grandma? You know how broken my family was? You're going to sit here and lay up with the only person in my whole family that had your back? The only person. The only person. And you got me looking like Boo Boo the Fool. Boo Boo! I know you ain't talking over there looking like you looking. <laughs> All right, so what's going to ha happen now? What's going to happen? You want this marriage to continue? I do. All I, all, all I ask is for her to trust, respect me, and let me do my part as a husband. You know what I have to say to all of that? I love you. I don't trust you. You got to earn my trust. I don't have to do nothing to make you feel like you deserve any of my trust. You slept with my aunt. Well, you know what? I don't have to have. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Now, please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now, get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.